what up what up so today we're doing a uh, fifth gen camry 2002 to 2006 this was in an 06 with a four cylinder showing you how to do the front two motor mounts or the the dog bone on top and then the front motor mount not the one that is right uh behind the passenger or the driver's side wheel so i'm sure i do those two because that's all this one needs but uh anyway if you find this helpful like subscribe comment all that fun stuff let's get to it all right let's hop into this we're going to be looking at the front of the engine here taking a look at the top of the motor mount you got the single nut there on top you can go ahead and loosen that it's not a big deal that's the uh the dog bone one bolt uh don't worry about what i'm pointing to there because it's the wrong bolt <laughs> the uh second bolt to take out that one is on the side on the left side there so those two bolts are all you need to slide that one out slide the new one in torque them down to spec and uh that's the easy one the other one is going to be on the front there and um uh, you're going to need to support this one with a jack you'll see that in a moment but easy enough still so from the bottom side even if you don't have a lift you can still get this one you've got one two and then a third uh 14 millimeter bolt or nuts on the bottom side actually because that motor mount is going to sit down into the frame substrate or subframe there so Take those three off from the bottom to start with. Then those three that you can see on the top middle there, those are the ones that bolt into the front of the engine. And uh, that whole little uh, assembly will come off. So I'll start with those. Um, after the three on the bottom come off, I'm going to go ahead and loosen these three because it's going to be easier to get them out in a moment from the top side. All right, so those three can now be reached from the top side. And once you have removed them, you're going to take a 17 millimeter and take off that top uh, retaining nut or bolt there from the top of the strut or the engine mount. And uh, you'll pull it up and out. Once it's out, then you get the fun part of trying to get the, uh, the rest of the motor mount out. A lot more uh, difficult to do. Uh, than it looks just because of the room you've got. I found it easier to uh, turn it upside down. Once you turn it upside down where it sits, it kind of comes out of that subframe. You lift it up. I think the cap's going to come off here. It's got a little rubber cap on top as well. But I ended up getting it upside down and pulling it out. Compare it to your new one. Make sure that it's the same. And you're going to reverse that process. Put the new one in. Torque everything back down, and you have successfully completed replacing the uh, major two engine mounts that you're going to see on the 5th Gen Camry. And uh, like I said, the other one is behind the wheel well, but this one did not need it. So, so anyway, hope that helps. And uh, if it did, give it a like, subscribe, share, all that fun stuff. And uh, we'll catch you on the next one.